Seance. Hello, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, we are going to utilize a pick a card today. It's been a while, so I was really feeling it. Uh, but we're actually going to do pick a postcard. See what shapes and symbols stand out and speak to your psyche and psychic senses. We'll also add on some Terran Oracle and where Mr. Ghost Gif is here kicking. We have Ghost Tube for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further add to our auric adventures. Overall, please do receive a release freely. And if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome home. Let's get ready to explore. All right, so I'm just going to mix these up for a moment. I hope you're doing well. There will also be an extended for those in the second tier secret society. In the uh, well, we'll be doing like one reading with all of them and fresh cards. So if you'd like to join us for that, it'll be the first YouTube link below. We'll go with one, two, three. I will reveal them so you can connect to the image, but just in case you want that blank blank slate into, into it, by all means. To the reveal for one. Reveal for two. And the reveal for three. All right, so whichever you have chosen, I'll put the timestamps in the comments and in the description box below, I will see you on whichever scry you chosen. Hello, number one. Here is your postcard that we are going to be scrying. Let's just dig in. Let's just dig in. I'm so grateful you're here. I'm so grateful you're here. I Burnt. feel very... Um, it's like I can't decide if it's anxiety or excitement. So that's how I feel stepping into this. And as soon as I, I'm, see, I'm seeing like cheerleaders, raw, raw, sis, boom, ba. I'm also seeing the ears. Who's the famous artist or uh, apology? I'm already in the liminality pretty good. That had his ear cut off or something along the lines. Something about that. Hmm. Okay. And if I didn't say so already, please do feel well to see, sense Pisces. and feel for yourself and share below. Like I'm telling you, my, like my, this is the feeling in pile one. It's like, <laughs> the ear artist. That's what I'm going to call it. Shame on me, but there it is. Yeah, I can't tell. I'm also seeing broccoli. And the broccoli is up here. It's almost as if the the pom poms are made of broccoli. Okay, so there's a feminine figure stepping forward. I feel like she's from the 70s or was born in the 70s. That could be you. And something about the feminine figure. I'm seeing wiener dogs, if those symbols mean anything to anyone. Oh, I'm in a womb. I'm in a womb right here. I can see the outline. Like, I'm looking at an ultrasound. Do you know what that makes me feel like? Okay. Greetings. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. I feel as Trip. though, like, this body in this womb... This is the, if I made like the soul piece at some point in time, whenever it felt good for your soul, or if you're pregnant, whatever the case, whatever you're birthing, whatever you're bringing into form, bringing into form when the soul connects into the shape, the form of it. It's different for everybody. That's, Are defi you a friend? that's definitely how I'm feeling it. I also feel like I'm meeting. Yeah, I am a friend. Thank you. Are you a friend? I also feel like I'm seeing a friend or there's something like, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's something about friends here. It's really, really sweet. There's a man up here. 
Oh, that's not a great. Um, okay, so I'll just sidebar scry this pile one. As you know, I can't necessarily control. <laughs> don't want to control it. I'm here to explore. You're here to explore. Just as a sidebar, if somebody in history, maybe there's a feminine figure from the 70s, like, but she would have been older in the 70s, so born whenever, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, <clears throat> etc. Something about, like, she bludgeoned her husband to death. Yeah, so that's that's happening. That's here. Good times. Good times. All right. Let's start adding on some uh, clarifying cards. I can't tell what you are. Oh, I just got a weird feeling. I am an energy that is at a graveyard or a cemetery. Okay, there's two things coming through one moment. I got to choose which rabbit hole I'm going to step into. Okay, first and foremost, it's a large being. Uh, somebody new was recently buried, cremated, but nonetheless, like the, the tombstone, like their honor of them is, is there. And I feel like when I say they're new, I want to, as Steph, say, Heart attack. imply that they're young, but they're not. They're just newly there. So they could be like 80 years old you know, 25 years old, but there was something about the heart, the heart of it, the heart of it. I'm also seeing a shoe. I don't know if somebody's hearing footsteps or seeing footsteps. Sorry, nonetheless, the spirit of this message is just for one, thank you for holding space for them to receive it. So when you buried them or put their, uh, their urn there, they were met by a bigger energy that kind of welcomed them into the community specifically of the cemetery graveyard not because they're stuck there not because they're always there but because when maybe other people go there or you go there to visit it's it's like this community everyone kind of just comes and goes some people are you know historically like well 39 well gone but there yeah there's a bunch of them and I want to say he has a friend. He has a friend there. And But this one energy that's at this uh, cemetery graveyard, it likes it there. Like, it just hangs out there. It's almost as if he might have passed a long, long time ago. So he's very helpful to, like, he's like the mayor <laughs> of the ghosts or the spirits that visit Taurus. The the gravestone. Okay, so, yeah, okay. The other rabbit hole, if I may, is this is a landmass with a lake in it. I don't know if there's something about a lake, and I'm camping. I'm camping in the lake. There's also something about a panther coming through. Yeah, camping with the fire. It's over here. I'm in, like, mountains or hills. Uh, I'm actually getting heartburn now that I just saw this card. I'm trying to decide what it is. Somebody in here in pile one, you might be seeing things or you have a really deep connection to fire, the fire element or the one expression of the element of fire. I want to talk. And it does want to speak with you or you do speak with it quite clearly. Like it almost feels like a fire meditation, fire scrying, candle scrying. It doesn't have to be a big mass of fire, but something along that lines. Yeah, you have a bond with it in some way, shape, or form. And even if this bond isn't in relation to the fire element, maybe it's your passions that are starting to arise. There's also this person in spirit that has recently crossed over, like in your timeline, you can place it. It does feel like a, a figure that... Um, sorry, is like a dad or something like that. Yeah, see, it's something, something about this, uh, 
okay, so literally being here like this haunted healing, the haunted hearts of healing. And it's almost like by maybe I don't go to the graveyard or to the gravestone or wherever the spot is because it kind of brings about the feeling of being haunted, if I may. It's understood. It's understood. It's not about guilt. It's just knowing I will be there when you're there. And when you're not there, I will be wherever, you, you know, I will visit you wherever you are. I want to come back to this cheerleader thing again because they're calling for my attention. Cheerleaders. And you, like you, if you can imagine like with those friends, cheerleader friends or some sort of team, whatnot. Nobody they're understands. They're very, you know, very tight. There might be dr dramatics, but they're, they're a tight knit group, tight knit group. So kingdom here with Leo and then unseen that maybe I'm not quite acknowledging is distraction, which could be when I was speaking of like, oh, I don't go to the grave or I don't go to that spot because it, you know, compassionately, I am completely compassionate about it because it triggers the hauntedness of missing, right? The haunted heart, or it really lets me uh, acknowledge the absence. Turn it off. So I distract myself. And I, and I don't go a whole lot and, and it's understood. It's understood. Um, it's really like, like a place card for, you know, the potential for that connection to happen there, but it doesn't have to happen there. If that makes sense. Sorry. It can, you know, be wherever as well, because I'm always protecting you. I definitely feel like this is like a father daughter kind of feel, but it doesn't have to be that it could just be a very prominent masculine energy and a prominent feminine energy. Mm. I'm seeing baby footprints as well. I'm very much enjoying that. I'm very much so enjoying that. Baby footprints. Okay. We'll add on an oracle card and I will see you for postcard two. Ooh. Hiding. Releasing allegiances. Hmm. Um... Okay, when I said father-daughter, sorry, somebody else is stepping through. Because, again, it's in the same alchemy of... Do you know? Prominent masculine energy forward and prominent feminine energy forward. A husband and wife team if you've lost, recently lost a spouse or a partner. And they were cremated. Very specifically. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Just, I feel like I'm being asked to release guilt. Guilt. Hospital. Going beyond normal. You might have had to make a decision in the hospital. I kind of feel like since this passing, whoever this may be for you, is... How do I say? Oh, I have so much heartburn here. Whew. There's like a, a purifying to get to peace. I'm also seeing the toucan. The toucan. The bird. And I'm being, I know I'm being asked to release guilt or reflections that are reoccurring in my head in relation to this bond of this person who has passed. Please have confidence in your choices. Proceed to be happy. There are new directions. Notice what is a invite to a direction versus a distraction. Alexis. And trust that we are healing together, even though we're in separate, not separate, uh, but existences expressed. So it's kind of like the fire element thing, like fire, physical fire that we see is, is but one expression of the fire element. 
and wow you are now existing in different densities but it's still of one existence one love type feel that's exactly how i feel that is all right i'm gonna i'm gonna head over to postcard in front two of you. i will see you again soon thank you so so much for being you bye postcard two how you do so actually we're gonna read it that way that's the way it was shown all right when you're ready let's get ready to explore if you see sensor buy me anything, a coffee or if you decide to buy me a coffee link is below gratitude warms my haunted heart all right so i am okay so yeah i am uh who, do, 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 how do i say okay so i'll start there a tree Growing a tree, growing a tree, <laughs> growing a tree. This is very much so giving me as above, so below feel. This tree grows differently than I'm accustomed to here in Canada. So I don't, I don't think it's like something I normally see here. There's something about the bark that's prominent or the texture of it the te I think it's like a texture could even be like a pineapple tree I don't, I don't I don't know Do, like even in the mirroring of this but what gets me is the way I see this trunk isn't a trunk here I understand in like that reflection but I'm actually seeing when I wander up here is a a person a being an energy right that's how i'm gonna say it i'm like riding like a horse imagination somebody really might be a writer here maybe children's books there is Oh, how, oh, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. How do I say? Grazing the top of the water, like if you were in a boat and you would like stick your hand out the side or you could be in Disagree. a car and stick your hand out the window to feel the breeze. Hand out of the boat. And it's like, as the boat's going, you're just like grazing your hand on the surface of the water. That's the, the feeling I'm getting, whether it's with wind or, and or water, there's something about the sensation in my hand because like from this trunk, I want to like place upon like my wrist line and this bloom of sorts is Come my outside. hand. So it's like, there's something about my hand and the way I am touching or connecting with the textures of energy and elements you might be a healer okay i was asked to exchange that word to helper a helper i'm also in the never-ending story and it's really there's something about books are here because I'm hearing the, uh, it's in a book. Take a look. Children. Reading rainbow. <laughs> so reading rainbow. You might also be a helper of children, like a educational assistant, or you teach children, you have children. Reading rainbow. I, yeah, because I'm seeing it, like, I don't know if it's on a tablet or a, I don't know, is it a Kobo or a Kudo? <laughs> But I'm reading something. It's really fascinating. Let's add on some tarot. Let's add on some tarot. Let's see what's going on. If I didn't say so already, I'll put the link below to the extended. Not. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Not. I'm going to do an extended. Well, we'll flip the postcards. Oh, hangman. Okay. Somebody might feel like they're a slow learner.
Oh, isn't that fascinating? Okay. Yeah. Nine of Sorry, I'll bring these up in just a moment. The death rebirth of this whole as above, so below, in whatever relation that may mean to you. So, I want to start over here with the Six of Swords and the Hangman in the reverse. Please follow if these card meanings mean anything to you. Follow that first. I, I read art first. So when I was saying like I feel slow, like maybe I have like late bloomer or I don't feel like I'm at the speed of everyone else around me for one reason. I, I feel bad or weak that somebody has to wait for me. Okay, so I want to bring this into a spirit guide specifically. So the way I'm hearing this is you were told the you were told the story of the tortoise and the hare. Please don't place that meaning that we're competing. Or that there is a competition in relation to speed and time. Because the lesson that I, I eventually, I don't know that if that makes any sort of sense. I don't even remember the story. But there's something about like the way I, I feel bad or I feel slow and I'm not, you know, or late bloomer or whatever the case is. And... The whole time I'm applying that Dangerous. they're they're waiting for me and I'm or they're gonna just take off. That's not the case. That's not the case because this is somebody, whether it's your partner, a friend, your spirit guide, or in any way, shape, or form, the way you might see things, when the right people energies are in the right place, they are also in the right place because they may be learning patience they may be learning observation they may be learning to rest so there's no need to worry about being in the same place at the same time okay that's not it getting there in the same way in the same speeds and applying all these attributes i'm so sorry if i'm butchering this message the point being in, in this roundabout way is everyone's in the perfect place at the perfect time because then when i come into this it's like then the turtle becomes super fast the turtle becomes the hare and the hare becomes the turtle and it kind of wanders into the as above so below thing it's like there's there's no need to worry the hare learns from the turtle I'm and the excited. turtle learns from the hare and while it may not look exactly the same it's not supposed to be the same this is like kind of like the enlightening energy about this and it's it makes me feel like even with the tortoise and the hare something about children's book and going on these adventures and imagine the turtle imagining i can be as fast as the hare but you might be in your mind you might have so much space to have this never-ending story so what's the race for sprints might have their place but how does a tortoise or a tortoise sprint allow that to be experienced and this just brings me into this whole integrating of this information that i'm receiving from my imagination that's how that makes me feel Uh, okay, sorry. There, mm. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. Also with that riding, that riding, um, I know I feel like I'm riding a cloud. Scorpio. But the way, yeah, the Scorpio of the, the death, rebirth, above, so below, within, without, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I heard resurrection quite specifically. There might be something you're returning to or considering returning to. Ooh, I also saw the movie Pet Cemetery just kind of float past my eyes. Ooh, love it, but ooh, love it. But, ooh. Okay, so in the show Mandalorian, at some point in time, I think this is in like the beginning, the Mandalorian guy visits his farm. 
or this guy that ends up helping him, like this little hobby guy, but he has like Later these, this evening. these weird shaped pet thing and the Mandalorian has to like learn how to ride him and tame him because wherever he's going, you, you need this kind of creature. That's the creature. That's the creature. And almost in some way, I feel like the hare and the tortoise, the hare is teaching the tortoise how to like untame this tortoise energy. And here's the funny thing when I think about the tortoise to the hare. It's, it's quieter. It's, it's a different delivery method. It's a different delivery method. I have to breathe through my ears, 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 ears. There's a lot of listening here. Okay. Apologies. Sorry, not sorry. So we have here, eliminate distractions. Stop shining the light. Stop shining light on things you are not. How can you reclaim that. your power? And then over here, your purpose is personal expansion. How can you be more... Sorry, I can't read like that. It's totally ridiculous. How can you be more intentional with your choices and live with more purpose? Bloody. Oh, 1819. Yeah, I want to place that like right, right there. And this nine, or sorry, no, why did I see that as the nine? It's the ace of pentacles. It's a new path. But it's almost like if you could imagine taking this path, perhaps where this race, this race is, this path over here, I don't know, or maybe it's a new path. Hmm. So the finish line of this race is the beginning of, it's not a race though, I want, anyway, you know what I mean. And it's almost like there's going to be things placed for me to decide, is it a distraction Uncle. or is it a gift, a sign, a sign to say yes, yes. I feel like I will sickle away anything that is a distraction and that doesn't mean... Is it Paula Abdul or cold hearted son? his eyes. Mm. Uh oh. Anyway, something else. <laughs> something about cold hearted. This is the expansion of it. And this is like when the, the tortoise and hare kind of merge. And that's when the, the tortoise becomes as fast as the hare and the hare becomes as patient and as wise as the tortoise. And the, together, like the fertility process makes complete sense to proceed and pursue whatever it is that I am growing and will reflect back to me. And it's almost like every so often, spirit will drop in something shiny distraction or Apologize. otherwise to see my own reflection and to check in check in with that it really is a favor it, I, I don't know if I'm doing it justice or not to say this feels like a favor like you're favored you're favored because you're favoring the frequencies that feel fulfilling fulfilling and what they fulfill okay i'm going to move on to postcard three link is below if you'd like to join me for the extended world we'll flip them all and if not i will so see you again soon until next time bye postcard three how you be help me we are so here to help you help me help you help me if you want to take a screenshot Personally, you still need to scry on your own time, by all means. Okay. So I'm jumping right in here, seeing like a half circle, but I feel like I'm only seeing it from a point of view. And if you can see this figure kind of rising up, uh, I don't know if I'm in a conjuring circle 
or protective circle. So you might know in and of yourself if you resonate with this. For some, this feels like it's something I know internally, like I can't place necessarily the experience I hear you. yesterday or with my friends, like the craft or something like that. For some, you might absolutely be able to do that, but this does have that feel, but it might be in relation to your karma or your connections. Hmm. I'm get okay as much as this there is this uh energy right here that's kind of emerging notably healing the it, it's like a black butterfly there's significant balance here with this being feminine and the expansion of the energies being masculine Uh, uh, okay, hold on. I'm very, very drawn to notice like this dot here. Okay, just gonna shut it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna s stop constipating myself. Uh, Viking, king, or queen. I don't know if those are the right terms. Somebody of prominence, definitely Viking area is coming through. It could even be like Odin with that one dot, right? Odin is Odin the one with the one eye. This feminine figure Spirit. is very sleek, very sleek. Hmm. I'm kind of hesitant. I'm not going to lie. It's like really step in if you've chosen this card, <laughs> but hopefully you, you know, uh, kind of what's going on. I, I'm going to start adding some cards on in a moment. And if you want to join me for the extended where we'll flip it. See how these like are different shades. Who's this? What's going on? Uh, is this a pilot of some sort? A pilot. Hold on, yeah. There's, a, there's some sort of pilot figure in here. Uh, oh, okay, that's why. Thank you. It's piloty. It's a radio operator. It's a radio operator. What these frequencies are, I'm not entirely sure. And the reason why I know pilot has something in relation to it is because I feel like I'm listening like a pilot with my ears uh so is it scry one or is it postcard one that talked about ears oh i can't remember now but maybe you might want to go back and or if you came from there or go there excuse me anyway i am flying the radio waves i'm listening to a lot it's like a million conversations do you know and i am trying to decide which one i'm gonna like pause on for a little bit longer It's, it's not like remote viewing, it's remote hearing. Some of you might be mediums, channelers, or what's that, like the, I don't know if it's psychology per se, forgive me, but I, I appreciate the freedom. And by all means, please feel well to let me know when that like psychology thing or the brain thing where not everybody hears like a, in, a narration in their head. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Like I can, I can read a book, I can read this and I can hear a narrator, me. And then other times I can hear other voices that I'm like, Oh, that's, that's not me. Listen. Maybe it's like that. I don't, I don't know if that's what people call the inner voice or this inner narrator. Let's start adding on some cards. Cause I feel like I just making it worse making it run. i hope you're doing well <laughs> cloud's crying this is the this is the airwaves 
that radio operator. Smooth operator. Uh, and if you do clouds cry, know that I'm clouds crying with you because I love me to look at the clouds almost every day, give or take. Be still, for it is in the act of patience that guidance is met with clarity. This very much so connects to uh, postcard two with the tortoise and the hare tail kind of coming through. This, oh, okay, like, d did I say black butterfly? It kind of brings me into black sheep vibes. I could say moth, but I don't really know that that's what it is. I feel like the old wife's tale of the mothman or something along that lines, I don't know if it's a true, I'm just saying the way it's coming forward, is scary but people can like control or conjure that energy to do some something or be present as a scare tactic. Love. But I see it as a, as a butterfly. I see it as a butterfly. Okay. The act of patience that the guidance has met with clarity. And this is like the patience that the hair was learning and the clarity yeah, this actually reverses it, which is really nice because there's like that moth butterfly in there. What is going on in here? Do you see this? The way this f feminine figure is getting a hold of or interacting with that bird? Okay, I'm petting it. Whew, I thought it was aggressive the other way. Here's the interesting part. I feel like airway, radio pilots listening. There's other people looking the other way and they have their ears covered. I hear you. Also the back of their head. Something about blocking something on the nape of the neck. Bottom of the skull, nape of the neck. Wildflowers 44. When you allow yourself to imagine wildly, worlds of worlds are created. Oh, I love this feeling. Okay. Sunset dinner. Insects. I'll take one more and then we'll kind of wander. Okay, thanks. And then Green Witch. Bloody. Okay, so if you are here in pile three, I apologize if I've kind of gotten off track, but I really am appreciative of what's going on here because now as I'm seeing this circling, and imagine that you are emerging stepping forward from the circle like other people have conjured you not in an ownership way it's because of Damage. alignment of free will thoughts some you know synchronicities everyone has brought everyone together in some way shape or form and it's just your turn to step forward into the circle but everyone gets that moment everyone here has gotten this moment to present themselves and Dark. it's celebrated it's celebrated it yeah there's that whole other story that i really don't want to focus on at this moment because it feels like when I wander into like the darkness of it, like people listening and conjuring and pulling things up, it brings me into like this card, to the insect card. But then I feel like something natural is happening where it feels delightful to be able to sit down and dine with others. It's like through these airways you connect, like wildflowers, wildflowers and wallflowers. Okay. Okay. I got to come into her. So while she might 
be look like a dark mistress she's actually like what i would closest call her what somebody might refer to as like white witch and i don't know what that means in the world of wicca or even in other um mythologies cultures lore but somebody with like white hair long long white hair and she she is kind of like this energy stepping Janitor. forward because she's vigilant in ensuring that you heed warnings as well as well workings because this power like circle of friends i'm going to call this because that's what it feels like circle of friends so imagine you're with your circle of friends astrally spiritually holistically physically and whatever that you're doing and i'm not saying when like when you might be conjuring your spell work that has to be that way maybe you're having conscious conversations maybe like us here we were uh, you know a little bit more abstract and we're willing to like wander the clouds and allow the shapes and symbols to arise without this controlling measure this environment that we're in there are yeah, I heard you. Private as a one worship you are listening. Uh, like, you know, when you would see in TV and there would be a van out front that says cable guy, but there's not the cable guy. I don't think it's that close, but there's somebody listening to the magic that is infused in the conversation, in the energetic connections even if they're silent and they're trying to tune into that does that make sense i feel like i kind of went all over the place here in, in postcard three but i i understand it's like i want to make a promise to protect myself as i'm pursuing connections as well and knowing that once those connections are solidified or experienced, that the group or, you know, whether it's just you and your partner, you and a few friends, that is protected as well. Not in so much a paranoia way, but an awareness Wait. way. An awareness way. Because it's almost like I want to say, like, in a creepy way, if I must go to the dark side, well, you know, it's good. We'll, we'll go over the power that maybe your group creates organically with this green witch, because it's all very heartfelt. It's intentional, but it feels very organic. It's like I'm intending as a group, maybe we come here, we plant a seed and we garden, but we're not intentionally... Mm, dictating how the flowers will grow and then it's like we sit back and we come you know come together and we chat or you you know, you know you meet up with your friend once in a while and we you see where you're at but we're there's not this controllable dictation i can't but talk yet see even like this thing this radio that you are tuned into as well when you tune into it. But I feel like it's more so of your own reflections like that inner narrator. When I go to the other side, it's like somebody else is listening and taking dictation. Oh, this is crazy. Is it crazy? I, I feel like it might be a little crazy, but you're here with me. So uh, you can, of course, receive a release freely. All right, let's add on a Cali card. And I shall read it, and then I will see you for the extended if you are joining or wherever else you decide to go. If you're choosing an order, uh, postcard one, two, three, or three, two, one, or two, or two, three, all that kind of good stuff. All right, Cali card. Look at there's the there's that flower, comma of Cali. Not intentionally dictating how the flower grows, blooms, and bees. 38. I have to read the book. Sorry. I'll bring this. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just a little gist here. She is completely and utterly in love with your divine essence and in her love bestows endless gifts. Your path need not be one of endless effort. 
connecting with pleasure as a path of personal Worship. empowerment with an intention to bring spiritual benefit to the collective through softening and opening your heart is an act of worshiping the divine feminine. Relax into the presence of what is as you slow your pace and make swifter progress. So indicative for me still of uh, postcard two. It's because of the heart of the people you connect with, but even so within your own heart, the inner child to adult, the, the male and the, the masculine and the feminine energy, all those kinds of things. And to consider. Is this yours? That you have received an invitation or will be receiving an invitation to make more connections. You don't have to accept them all because I'm just seeing like a bunch of mail coming in and it's like, oh, do I go here? You know, come here, come here, please come to my thing or you're invited and really taking time almost like a pick a card or pick a pile and laying them out, reading them and deciding sure. which ones are best for you to pursue as a path of pleasure and what brings in the benefit of softening but also having the strength of that security. It's important. It's important to still have that white witch security. All right. That was amazing. I hope this made sense. I hope somewhere along the lines it did serve, inspire, educate, or entertain. I am on to the extended. If I don't see you over there, I will see you again soon. So much love. The secret scry is in the extended now. First link in the box below.